Hey, it's Mark Slater here with Prime Spine Consulting, and I'm so lucky and honored to have with me today, Amy broussard Costley. Amy is one of the top liaisons in the PI Accelerator program. She works for Dr. Scott Clark of Clark Integrated Medical in Lafayette, Louisiana. So Amy, welcome to this interview. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And the goal of this interview is, uh, I'm just going to ask you some questions, Amy, and figure out what it takes to be like a top flight liaison in this program because you emulate that. So, um, tell me how you got started in Dr. Clark's practice. Well, I started at the beginning of February. A friend of mine who knew Dr. Scott reached out to me and told me about this position. And I literally thought it was a dream job. And I applied right away and got an interview and got hired the same day. <laughs> so okay. very fortunate. And so you started in February? Beginning of February, and then uh, we did some training, and I really got into the field at the beginning of March. Beginning of March. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me about when you got started. You said in our pre-interview that you started watching some of my videos and absorbing the content. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about that process and uh, what you learned from that and a little bit about how you got started. So I really, I enjoyed listening to a lot of things you said. It, it made sense really why Dr. Scott chose me to fill this position. Um, I obviously love games and you mentioned that before. Um, any kind of challenge, uh, I'm all about it. If Dr. Scott is like, hey, I want a meeting with this attorney, I'm going to get that meeting. Whether it takes me six months, it's, I'm going to get that meeting. And I think that's what drives me is, is to have a goal and and something that is fun and fuels me to succeed and do better and always try to get my numbers higher. Perfect. So uh, you saw my KPI chart of 10 a day. So you saw that 10 a day and you just said, I'm going to make this a game. I'm going to challenge myself to go out and create 10 contacts a day. Is that kind of what you're saying? Like you took that as a challenge? Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Anything that's a, a challenge, it's, it makes it fun and, and it doesn't make every day the same. It's, it's different. So it's not boring. So right. I really enjoy this job. And you mentioned that you just like talking, you just like being out there. And so tell me about I like making friends. <laughs> I like making friends. That, that's I love really making all it is. friends. It's just about getting them, them to like you and creating a relationship. Right. And, you know, I have the time I'll go in and my expectations are not always to meet with the attorneys. It's great if I, I get that but it's really making relationships with the paralegals, with the gatekeepers, because that's the ones who really control their calendar and their schedule and know where they're at at all times. And they get me through the door with that attorney, getting those lunch meetings that I'm after to schedule for, they help me with that. So you, so it's, it's, it's great. So you focus on the support staff, the front desk mm -hmm. person, the paralegal that you may get to meet or, or the case manager, and you make friends with them at the very like, least, you want to just impact them first. Right, right. I'll find something in common with anyone I meet. Uh, we'll figure out a conversation, however we do it, whatever way. Uh, that, that's, <laughs> I stuttered. <laughs> uh, so we can go back if you want. Um, uh, let's see, yeah. And repeat the question. So just tell me about Amy's daily routine. Like, tell me what your typical daily routine is like as a marketer uh, in this program. So I will say every day is different, but what is the same is that the entire staff in both locations, Lafayette and New Iberia, we have a morning meeting 30 minutes prior to when we open. So it really sets the pace of what the day is gonna look like because there will be times where I will go bring reports. It's a way to make a contact with that attorney. They're seeing me, I'm on top of mind, or I'm going to bring them breakfast some days. Some days I'm working more social media. Other days it's out in the field making drops. I have packets that we've created that we hand out that, because we do a lot. <laughs> it, well, it helps to explain everything that we do um, to, to the client. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you started in February at Dr. Clark's practice and Dr. Clark posted in the group that he had nine PI patients in February. And then in March, I think it jumped to 32. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then in April, it was like 52. Yeah. Amy, how'd that happen? What'd you do? I'm friends. I'm friends. I make friends. And so that's, that's, that's what I do. I make friends. Whether I'm striking up a conversation with any person, I will find something in common to talk about. I will talk your ear off if you let me. Okay. Um, and, that, and that's just being myself, I think. I think that's what really helps is that I'm genuine. And, and the staff at my office, they, they bring it in. They make the home run. I'm just getting them through the door. So they're closing it for me. So it's easy to sell something that is so great. Okay. Are there any things that you may be doing in the field, like to these attorneys that you think, you know what, when I do this, this really motivates them to send cases our way. Is there anything you can think of like that? Um, I think it's just really learning what their hobbies are, what their interests are, mm. um, trying to read people. Uh, people love compliments. Yeah. So I give plenty compliments <laughs> to to everyone. So I think that that's one thing that kind of gets them to listen because everybody wants to talk about themselves, <laughs> especially yeah. when they're big time attorneys. They're gonna brag, and you just get them going, and that's it. <laughs> They'll take it from there. Yeah. Hey, tell me about that new boat you just bought. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, like I, I like that billboard. That was very catchy, especially coming from a marketer who, you know, I've done a few billboard designs and they're like, oh, you like it? Like, thanks. So I think I think that holds some weight. Nice. Okay. Um, so let me ask you this question. What do you think it takes? Like, what do you really think it takes to be successful in this PI liaison, uh, marketing liaison role? Um, tough skin. Meaning, tough skin. okay, tough skin. Elaborate on that. Tell me what tough skin means to so, you. You, you can't be discouraged. Uh, you have to be relentless and you can't give up because I've, I've actually had a door slammed in my face one time, but that doesn't stop me. I think it's funny because that same door that was slammed, someone else opened up their door in the same building and was like, I can't believe you were disrespected like that. Step into my office and tell me what, tell me what you have. Wow. That's and, and that, that's tremendous. I mean, I, that's why I keep thinking. One door closes, another one opens. So. You've, you've literally brought that metaphor to life. <laughs> when one door closes, yeah, you stole my words right out of my mouth. But yeah, mm -hmm. you brought that metaphor to life. Well, well good for you. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. Why do you think you're so successful when other marketers may be struggling out there? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think that uh, I try my hardest every day. And I know that this is just something that I'm happy and I enjoy it. And I think that shows that I truly have a passion for marketing and, and people. Yeah. So um, that's what I think. I think I'm a unicorn, right? You said that. You are a so. unicorn. That's right. <laughs> so, but that's what me, makes me special. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you are a unicorn. And the, the stats speak from themselves. I mean, going from <laughs> nine PI referrals to 50 in, in two or three months is, I mean, that's top unicorn status, Amy, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, you know, I like to highlight a lot of the things that we offer because we offer so much. So um, some of our services are a complimentary van pickup. And so if I can talk to a paralegal or an attorney and just feel their struggle of, oh man, I can't get my client to this appointment. I can fix that. I, I, I understand. So I can sympathize with them and be like, well, let me help you with that. Because I understand it's a challenge getting them to their appointments. And we have this service and here's our map. And this shows everywhere as we go. And we can, we can help you with those things. So yeah. you're relating to the, to the attorneys and understanding like, hey, look, we're here to help. We're here to help you. Yeah, you're, you're a resource for their clients. Correct. In Lafayette and, and Iberia. You have two, two locations. Two locations, Lafayette and New Iberia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. But that doesn't stop me. 
I'm all over. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, have you been to any personal injury events yet? I know they're, they're starting to come back. Have you attended any? Well, I know you attended an event today. Was it a personal yes. injury? Yeah. Tell me about that. No. So today, uh, so we're in Lafayette, Louisiana. So we have uh, the Raging Cajuns, UL Lafayette has their homecoming this week. So they were painting the town red. It's our colors. And they were going to each uh, business who was participating in painting the town red. And one of the law firms that I had been trying to get for six months, I landed and they invited us to participate in their Paint the Town Red event. So a few staff members as well as Dr. Scott showed up and we were able to talk to several attorneys while we were there and know that we were here to support them and, and help them. Love it. I really love it. That's so. awesome. And so you've been chasing <laughs> that law firm for six months. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Six months. I was, at one point I was going there every single week until I broke them down. <laughs> because you mentioned earlier in this conversation that, that you're relentless. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like you don't take no for an answer. Like no. you, you just said you, you were in there, you said every week? Once a week. I was going how, once a week. How was that uh, looked upon uh, at that law firm by seeing you once a week? Tell me, tell me about how you felt and what the feedback was when they saw you show up once a week. So it, it was discouraging because I, I felt like I could never get the FaceTime with that attorney and they were always so busy and like, I didn't want to bother them. And I felt like they, you know, I didn't want to waste their time. So there was one day where I went and they were slammed running around crazy. And I was like, what are y'all doing? It's it's lunchtime. Although I'm working on lunch, my lunchtime, Good for you. they were too. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'll be right back. I went and bought them lunch and they I made their day. <laughs> and it was as easy as that. That same day I brought them lunch. They emailed me and gave me every one of the five attorneys calendar and set up a meeting for me. So you were kind of reading the tea leaves. They were mm -hmm. so busy at lunch. You're like, wow, these guys are so busy. It's lunch hour. I'm going to take some initiative and go get them lunch. Mm -hmm. And look what happened. That yeah, It was two girls. They were the only ones in the office. All the attorneys were in court or doing something. And I went and got those two girls. Cost $20. And I land that account. That's awesome. Yeah. I, and I think when we first spoke about doing this interview, I told you kind of a similar story. I was a waiter. I think I was 19 years old and I was a waiter mm -hmm. here in Atlanta and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon. The restaurant was dead and this couple was in there and they ordered lunch and he looked at the table and he's like, Hunt's ketchup. You guys use Hunt's ketchup. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Kind of gross, huh? What did I do? I ran across the street to Waffle House. I said, can I buy a Heinz ketchup from you? They're like, you don't have to buy it here. Just here's a Heinz ketchup. Brought it back over there. This guy was so blown away just because I took that initiative and listened mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. took an action that probably 98% of servers would never do. That guy owned the, was the general manager of this tavern at Phipps restaurant. He offered me a job right there. He said, why don't you get out of the mm -hmm. sports bar and come work for me? Pay hey, attention to detail. That's right. It was only a temporary job for me because it was over the summer. Mm -hmm. I was going back to you know college or whatever. Uh, but when you deliver value like that and you go mm -hmm. above and beyond, people notice. Mm -hmm. I any agree. Other, any other stories you can share about you maybe going above and beyond a story that you can share about? Because I love that lunch story. Do you have another one? Or maybe you can tell a story of something that totally backfired and because not everything works out. Um, so one day I was in the office, which I'm usually on the road or I'll work in my home office. Uh, so we were busy, you know, <laughs> we had a lot of, we have a new increased volume of patients and I saw that one of the girls was backed up checking out. I don't know how to check out. So I'm going to distract some of the patients. So it doesn't get, they're sitting there waiting and right. bored. I strike up a conversation with her. And this is simple. It's like, I have nothing in common. Seems like I have nothing in common with her, but she's drinking her drink with a straw. And so I'm like, ah, oh, I do that too. And I pick up my drink. I'm like, I always drink out of a straw as well. And that was it. We had conversations for a good 10 minutes of what our favorite drink is. 
and it's just making conversations, small talk with anyone that well, you Amy, can find you, in common. You will talk to anybody. <laughs> anyone, anyone. I am not scared. And that, I think that's, that's what helps too. So being not scared, let's talk about that because people have these preconceived notions, like it's fear and fear holds people back that they're not going to be liked. They're not going to be loved or they're not going to be accepted. It doesn't seem like you have any of that in you. Fear of being accepted, fear of rejection, because any this is essentially a sales job. Rejection is part of it. Every no mm -hmm. gets you closer to the yes. So tell me how you deal with that. Do you have fear? Like what happens when you get a no or rejected or somebody doesn't talk to you? Tell me how Amy deals with that. I brush it off. Um, I don't like expect everyone to yeah. like me. I, I don't. Swift. You just brush it off. Like that. I brush it off. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not, it's, I don't like everyone I meet either, um, but that's life. And I'm, I'm not going to let that get me down or because one person might not care for me <laughs> that day or they're in a bad mood. You know, you understand that people could just be having a rough day. So I just move on, you know, I'll find a different way or, you know, I might find that one person that might not necessarily like me. But I might find her on Facebook and notice that her favorite coffee is this coffee and go buy her that coffee. You will like me eventually. Yeah. <laughs> you, I will wear you down. <laughs> so, so it's just paying attention to details really right. and, and what their interest is. And, and I think that's what helps too. It's the, it's the small things. A little bit can go so far. Yeah. So you saw somebody that you were up against like a roadblock. You took a peek at their social media, maybe got some clues about what they were interested in. And you, you used that to create some type of interaction. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Oh yeah, it worked. Everyone likes the coffee. Pick me up at three, at three o'clock in the afternoon when you're starting to struggle and wind down. So yeah. it, 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 uh, we actually ended up getting a referral that day. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no fear in you. There's no quit in you. And that's essentially just the mindset. Like, it's just a game. Like, if you don't like me, somebody else will. And I'm going to go find them today. Yeah. And you don't indict people on a first interaction if they're in a bad mood or they don't give you the warm and fuzzies. Right. You'll follow you gotta, up. You, you got to read body language. I think that's very important. And to your point, people have bad days. Attorneys lose cases. They're, they get in fights mm -hmm. with their spouse. Their kids bring home a bad grade. But go back next week because that will be in the past and they'll be a totally different person with a whole new mindset. So you just sounds like you don't give up. No. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You got to keep fighting. <laughs> you're getting these results and you're not in a city like Miami, Tampa, Dallas, LA, Chicago. You're in Lafayette, Louisiana. <laughs> And it's not like there's Atlanta traffic or LA traffic. It's Lafayette, Louisiana traffic, and you're still getting 50 new PI patients a month. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And, and I don't let just, I don't stay in the bubble of Lafayette either. I'll, I'll go to Houston. I'll go to New Orleans. Uh, a lot of these larger scale attorneys will have satellite offices here in Lafayette. So I know they do business here, but I can't actually reach them here. So I'm not opposed to going and talking to someone over there. Okay. So you'll drive to Houston, which is in Texas. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Three-hour drive. But they have attorneys there that have passed the Louisiana bar so they can practice in Louisiana. Right. If they're mm -hmm. advertising here, I'm after them. That's exactly right. Because there are some attorneys that market in multiple states. Mm -hmm. And I'm right. constantly working. It's... I, I see billboards or I come across sponsored ads because I look up a lot of attorneys. So now Facebook knows that I'm always researching attorneys that I'll get sponsored ads. So I know as also as a marketer and know how Facebook runs, that those attorneys are targeting my demographic, my area. So I'm going to target them. Interesting. So if they're advertising, so you notice that on social media, do you mm -hmm. also notice that maybe on billboards, TV commercials, radio ads from law firms that are Absolutely. outside of Lafayette, maybe like you said, New Orleans, Houston? Absolutely. Uh, I was watching, the, my husband and I were watching the, the Voice, and one of the attorneys had 10 commercials back to back to back. Back to back. Wow. <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh, that's a good one. 
interesting. And, and they were we not did a, No, and they did they did it, they did some in English and some in Spanish, which really you know made me perk up because we also have a Spanish material and a translator for our Spanish demographic. So you you also do you also walk into Abogado's offices as well? Hispanic <laughs> attorneys? Hispanic I do. Attorneys. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not the interpreter, <laughs> but we do. We, we do a lot. Um, I have Spanish material always ready to go um, for the attorneys as well as for the clients that because they don't know what we're about. They've never heard of us, so they're trusting their attorney to send them to the right place. So I think it gives them a peace of mind knowing, oh, wow, these, this company took the time to list all their services in Spanish for someone who might not speak a lick of English. That's a great point. So you have uh, English translation marketing material as well as uh, Spanish translated marketing mm -hmm. material. And that's a genius idea, uh, Amy. And so you get work from the Hispanic attorneys send you cases as yeah. well because they know that you're bilingual in the office. Correct. Hell of an idea, Amy. I knew there was a reason <laughs> I wanted to interview for that little nugget of information that... <laughs> is brilliant. Well, in closing, Amy, is there anything that you want to add? Uh, something that maybe you did that was maybe outside the box that really worked or anything you want to add to close out the interview about your job or working with Dr. Scott, anything at all that uh, you want to add for the other marketers out there that may not be or have the same success that you're having um, in your marketing efforts? Um, I think, I think we've, talked about everything um no just not to give up and they can definitely reach out to me if I'll be happy to help uh anyone that needs advice or wants to bounce ideas off um you know it's just a matter of staying relevant and staying on top of mind with a lot of these attorneys and um just really being their friend and knowing that, that I'm someone that they can call and make sure that Everyone has my cell number and I tell them, look, you need anything. Do not hesitate to call me or text me. I work for you as well as Dr. Scott, but I'm working for the attorney. That's exactly so, right. They treat you as their quasi employee to get anything that they need from uh, Dr. Clark. Mm -hmm. I'm the middleman. <laughs> you're the middleman. So it makes it easy for them to do yes. business with you because they just call you because they know you're going to get the it job. It could be done. a simple question and I can answer that real quick where, you know, Dr. Scott is busy or the staff, we're, we're closed uh, half days on Tuesdays and Fridays, but my phone's still on. I'm still here. So call me. I'm, I'm available. So Yeah. And that's what I get from these attorneys. Like they love offices that have a marketer because they use the marketer as their quasi employee mm -hmm. just to get stuff done quicker. Yes. They just yes. call and you and eat. If you don't yeah, know, we try answer, to turn everything around really fast too. Right, you're going to go get the answer because you know exactly who yeah. to talk to, what staff member, because you know mm -hmm. that office inside and out. Right. Yeah. I might not know, but I know how to, how to find out. I yeah. can get you the answer. So let me ask you this. In your training, when you initially started like watching my videos, how long did it take you to get up to speed and know the medical legal terminology? Like, what was that process like? <laughs> so funny enough, I got hired the first week of February then went on vacation <laughs> and then came back and trained for about a week and then went into the field. So, uh, I went so on one stop with Dr. Scott to an existing attorney that got to meet everyone and that was it. He just let me do my own thing and it's been great. He turned you loose on the public right after that. Uh... Mm -hmm. All right. Well, very good. I mean, it seems like you absorbed the material. You took massive action. You went from nine to 32 in one month. Yeah. You're the only marketer that he has. Yes. Right. Full-time paid marketing liaison. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, Amy. It's very good. Well, listen, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I just wanted to talk to you, get you to shed light on what it takes to be successful in this job, the mindset, uh, not being discouraged when things don't go your way because it's just a day. There's always tomorrow and the next day and the next day. It's just leveraging that compound effect, being consistent. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, I mean, I just want to thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I think you shed a lot of light on what it takes to really succeed in this job. Uh, first of all, congratulations for helping Dr. Scott essentially five or six X his results um, in like three or four months. <laughs> incredible, Amy. You're very proud of yourself. I mean, that's great. That, that's incredible. You never work a day in your life when you love what you do. That's good. Sorry. That's good. Amy, again, thanks so much for doing this interview with me. Uh, good luck out there. Guys, reach out to Amy if you're a marketer uh, and you have some questions. Uh, Amy's a great resource uh, to just bang ideas together, call her up, uh, use her as a terminal to exchange ideas and just ask questions. Um, I've spoken to Amy uh, several times over the past month. I enjoy talking to her. I do enjoy talking to you, Amy, and you're a great resource. Congratulations <laughs> on all the success, and thanks again Thank for doing you. this interview with me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> talk soon.